Welcome back to the channel guys. I've just had this um, AFG angled foregrip uh, delivered from uh, Tiny Deal. There it is, quite a nice looking thing, quite interesting. Cost me all of £1.50 would you believe, all the way from China. Now I'm hoping um, it's going to fit my um, MP9 here. Um, <coughs> We'll have a look. I'll have to take this uh, screw out just here though. And then at the other side, look. <clears throat> right, let's uh, try and slide it on the pick rail. And there it goes. <clears throat> it's not going to go on all the way at the moment, as you can see. Uh, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to take it down to the workshop and just re reprofile this bit here. So it'll go that little bit further over the uh, trigger guard here because I really want it to be um, sitting on the gun like so if you can see that that's how I want it sitting on the gun like that so um, what we'll do is as I say take it down again um, we'll take it down to the workshop and we'll have a go at reprofiling it shall we guys okay so here we are in the workshop once again um, the noise you can hear in the background is my uh, boiler just warming the water up for Mrs Rathbone's evening bath by the sounds of it. Anyway, so here's the, uh, the AFG. What I've done is I've already marked where I need to reprofile it, just here. And we have a hacksaw, although this one might be a little on the big side. So let's swap it out. Um, let's try a little one, shall we? That'd be better, wouldn't it? So we'll just uh, hang the big one again out of the way. <coughs> right, so we'll use this little hacksaw then, should be better. And we'll just uh, chop him off. Uh, uh, I don't think we'll chop him, I think we'll chop him a bit of a slight angle there I think. Yeah, that's what we'll do, I think. we'll just chop him a bit of a, an angle there then guys. And then we'll see how it fits onto the uh, MP9. Okay, let's have a go at uh, hacksawing a chunk off of the uh, AFG then. We need just there and just there. I'm glad I used a smaller hacksaw now. Oh, here we go. Right in. Right, let's bring in the uh, MP9 here before we go too far. Let's try it on again. Come on. Oh dear, it's pushed. There we go. It's just um, disengaged, as you probably saw there, disengaged the uh, stock. But I think we'll have to do a little bit of reprofiling. Where's me, um, where's me um, Sharpie? We'll mark it just there. Right in. Okay, so you can see this is where I wanted it to fit. Doesn't interfere with the trigger. Cool. Right then, let's uh, bring in the file and we'll just tidy our cut up here. As you can see, it's a little bit on the rough side. So we'll just tidy that up as best we can. Make it look nice. Probably just uh, try and take those. Um, saw marks out a little bit. That's looking better. Yeah. Okay. So that's that done. That looks a lot neater and tidier, doesn't it, guys? Now, for this um, bit just here, this is the part here that is actually uh, knocking the um, stock out of its uh, lock. So what I'll have to do is just get the uh, junior hacksaw in again, just um, chop a lump off of here and across there like that. I have actually decided to file it, taking a look at it. So we'll just give it a very careful filing. 
So we're going to do this a little bit at a time so we don't take too much off, guys. I don't want it looking ridiculous or anything. Looking at the amount I've got to take off, I am actually going to um, just gently have a go at it with the uh, hacksaw, I think. If I can get the hacksaw to go into it. Come on! There we go. Let's take a little bit at a time, shall we? Take too much off of it at once, I don't think, guys. We can always tidy it up later on with the file. There it goes. Let's give that a go. Still not quite going on how I want it. Still uh, disengaging the stock a little bit, so we've got a little further to go. We'll get the file on it. Well, we're getting there, guys. It's very close now. Wow, we're so close now, guys. Look, not much further to go now. Just a little bit more. Right, just a slight change to the profile here. Not a lot, though, I don't think. Let's give that a go. Alrighty guys, I'm going to say that's going to do just there like that. Um, what I'm going to have to do is just reprofile the front here, just to take it more in line with the uh, sloping of the front of the uh, stock, the pick rail here. So I'll go ahead and do that. <laughs> Okay then guys, I am going to say that's good enough. So what we'll just do now is uh, tidy up all the, uh, the rough edges and uh, we'll fit it properly. Nice. Okay, so let's fit the AFG into its proper place here. Slide them on a bit further because I've got to line up the uh, slot in the pick rail to pick up the uh, bolt that's going to keep it in place, like so. <coughs> Let me just um, drop the bolt in there. The nut goes on this side in that little hole in there. Just turn them over, keep my finger on there. Right, use this Allen key to run it home. That's it, nice and tight. Awesome. Check that out, guys. What do you think? Okay guys, so here we are back from the workshop and we fitted the uh, AFG. Um, it's quite easy to do, quite enjoyed doing that. Um, the only thing I think I could have done better probably was this bit here. This little bit here is not as good as I would have liked it to be. But never mind, we won't worry about that too much. Anyway, why was it that I went ahead and fitted this particular AFG? When I first got the, uh, the gun, I found um, I was holding it like this. Well, that's not a good idea for a start. 
get your hand in the muzzle in front of the muzzle there. This gun's not loaded by the way guys. So I thought to myself, get this AFG here, you've got this nice little bar here to stop you running forward into the muzzle when you hold it. And it's quite comfortable. And it looks quite good, and of course it's ergonomic as well, very ergonomic to, to hold the gun. Alrighty then everyone, I hope you enjoyed coming along here this evening to watch me fit my new AFG to my equally new B&T MP9. Um, we'll give it some uh, uh, some shots another day, some more shots another day, but uh, not, not today unfortunately guys. We spent enough time fitting the AFG. Alright guys, um, I hope you enjoyed this little uh, demonstration here, how to fit the a AFG to the uh, MP9. Um, if you did, please feel free to subscribe. You can also click like and you can share it with your friends too because they might be interested. You never know. There's also uh, my um, Instagram page as well. And you could also, if you wish to support the channel in that way, you can find me on Patreon too. Alright guys, thanks for popping over this evening. I know you've got other things to be doing. Uh, maybe you've got to have your tea or your dinner as yet. So I better let you go and I will catch you here again next time. Bye! Rough.